All right guys, welcome back to Home on the Hitch. Today we're gonna to talk about decorating your campsite. Don't go anywhere. All right guys, welcome back to Home on the Hitch. Glad to see you here. Uh, this is your first time, welcome. Uh, if you're coming back for another video, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, we are Home on the Hitch. We talk about RV travel tips, tricks, hacks, uh, ways to save money, and try to make every moment count because that's what matters, guys. All right, so today we're gonna talk about decorating that campsite. You know, you've seen it uh, going through the campgrounds, the lights, the swag, uh, all the awesome decorations. Uh, maybe you've just bought your camper and you're not really sure where to go, what to do, how to set it up. So we're gonna have a conversation with Mel uh, about what she likes to do, what she likes to carry, because you are limited on space, uh, and what she likes to carry around, and how she likes to decorate. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get started there, all right? Boom. Right, yeah. and then, you know, uh, we like to do a little shopping and just exploring of the areas that we're well, in. The thing is, there's always new stuff you can so, find, yeah. even at different Walmarts or, or right like that there's always there. well you know and, and just little little things here and there that you can incorporate into your um, into your setup and a lot of this stuff is easy and functional at the same time yeah, true um, I guess we and one of the biggest points of, of for like inspiration uh, for like ideas is where wherever you're at I mean because you can like drive around the campsites uh, in the evening to see all kinds of stuff. Absolutely, well, like yeah. we've been we've been lots of places where we're, we've seen things and we're like, oh, I would yeah, really like to do, do that. that. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I wonder where we could find something like that, or yeah. or even um, you know the elements that are involved. It's like, oh wow, that was so simple to put together. Yeah. We could do that, yep. and that looks really cool. So that's going to be one of your biggest like inputs for inspiration is just get on your bike or, or scooter or, or walk around the campsite that you're on, at and and. You'll find all kinds of stuff. To do. And it's a great way to meet people too. That's you know, it's a nice right. icebreaker to talk to people. It hey, is. I love your campsite. It's so yeah, pretty. yeah. And if you're new, don't be. You know, and you're putting stuff up, people may walk up and ask you about it. So mm -hmm. don't be shy. Don't be shy. We like all to right, talk. So we will uh, get started here, and Mel's going to just show us some stuff that we have, and how she puts it up, or, or how she uses it to uh, to kind of spruce up the campsite a little bit. Maybe I don't know you know, some campsite swag. So, you know, the first elements that anybody's gonna want is like um, some chairs. Right, yeah, um, somewhere Because you want, you want seating outside. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, and a rug is always nice, but not necessarily a must have because right. rugs require, you know, places to put them such as and concrete. They, and they take up space. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that's kind of a love hate with me. Some places don't like it on yeah. their on their grass. Um, right. You got to be aware of ants. You and know, we've thrown away a couple of rugs because they had right. ants in them. Yeah, once they get if they get infested with ants, you just might as well toss them cuz Right. But they're right, not so, that expensive. So chairs, um, a rug. Yeah, um, we bought like, that uh Right, this is a, a like love a seat. Love seat lounger, uh, about six months ago. We love that thing, it's pretty sweet. Very roomy. Yeah. Um, flags, people like to put, you know, those are really easy to pop out. Right. Adds a little pizzazz. A little pizzazz. Right, a little identification as yeah. to who I am, what I'm doing here. That's awesome, and of course we've got, oh yeah, I'm gonna hit you. Subscribe. Right. right, so if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and um, smash that like button. Let us know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Leave us a comment if you have ideas. Right. Um, if you like something that you saw that we did. Yeah, right. so the chairs are good. Yeah, chairs, chairs are good. Um, a portable fire pit is nice, and you can um, do that in like a, a propane or we right. use a wood pellet yeah. um, grill that or fire pit that you can also use um, regular wood into, which right. is fine. So some, you know, like where we're at now, we don't really have trees, so you can't really hang your lights and stuff in trees. And then a lot of places don't want you to hang your things in the trees, um, especially not using any kind of screws or or things like that. So um, shepherd's hooks, just like that. 
<laughs> Shepherd's hooks. They come in different sizes, and these are really great because you can just put them out um, in any any array that you choose. You just kind of hang your and lights. And you can hang so your lights awesome. on them. Love that. Yeah. And where do you where'd you get those at? Um, you can buy these at the hardware store, okay. um, such as you know Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, you can even find them at Walmart. Um, these were like for hummingbird feeders, so they're kind of short, but you can buy the taller ones that are for like plants. Um, these are small and lightweight and they actually come apart. So um, they're, it's easy storage. Cool. Okay, so lighting. These are um, like little bistro cafe lights. This is um, a strand of 30 lights and I have two of them together here and they're plastic. So you don't have to worry about um, them bursting in storage or while you're trying to set them up. So that's a good safety feature there. Um, so other things that you can use, these require to be plugged in, of course. Um, so we have drop cords that are available also, um, you know, depending upon how we want to set up. So you can also use battery operated lights. These are really cool, like on your picnic table um, or just anywhere. These are also bought battery operated. I bought these during the Christmas time. Um, so you can find a lot of like really cool stuff around the holidays. Um, and these are on a timer also. So they'll automatically come on and turn themselves off. And then you can just hang these from the shepherd's hooks oh, cool. or from your awning. Those are really cute. Um, and then you can always uh, tablecloths. Blankets. It's nice to have a I have a selection of those. I have some that are easy to wipe off, and then other cloth ones that you can just toss in the wash. Um, and then ta then table decorations, uh, lights, candles. Those are always really nice outside when it's not too too windy. Fake plants. Amazing. No care. These are heavy pots, so they we just. Don't care. No, we don't care. So they're heavy pots, so they just sit on the table and they don't blow away. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, we have another lantern mm -hmm. that Thomas actually made. Yep. And we have a rechargeable lantern that a battery light that it's goes an in LED there. Flame light that goes in there. It looks really cool at night. It's just a mason jar and some scrap wood, and then I painted it to make it a little more exciting. So then we also have um, Turkish towels. Those make great tablecloths. They have dual purpose, which in a camper, you want everything to have a dual purpose if Absolutely. possible. So you can take those to the beach. They dry real quick, easy. Um, a little lightweight fold out table. And well, that thing folds up, right? It does, it does fold. So it's, I mean, it's that so it like stores. packs really easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super lightweight. We use this inside and outside the camper. Right. Um, it makes for you know a cool little tray to set out next to your your ta your chairs for your drinks. Then we have how do you other ways to hang your hang your lights? So I bought these on Amazon. These are really great. Um, there's suction cup have right. a little extra sticky to them. I think that they would actually stay during travel if you so if you wanted to people have noticed those in our video our videos before and have actually commented and asked whether or not we remove those before we travel and we do but there's she's probably right they're so hard to get off well, of the I side have, of I have to use a I have to use something in between they're to so pry, hard to, to get pry off, it off that of they the probably side of the would stay on there forever right so the little hooks do pop off so that would make it even more flush on the side of the, the RV. Okay. And then they just snap See, into place. Yeah. And I think these came in a pack of four. And I can string a whole string of lights with just four okay. of these, really. So we'll put those up on our uh, link in the description of the video. And as well, we'll put it up on our page for the, our uh, store. Amazon our, affiliate. Our Amazon links. Uh, you can also use these... Um, what are these called? Oh, these are wreath suction cups. So you can buy these, especially during the holiday season. Yeah. Uh, so it, it will, they don't stick as well to the side of the camper, but they do adhere pretty well to the glass. So if you wanna hang a little wreath or something on your, your window, 
it just pops on there and turns sideways and then it, it's easy on and off. So then another little nifty trick that we have is this little remote controlled plug mm -hmm. that we will use um, in the end of an extension cord to, to plug the lights into and then that way you can turn the lights off and on without having to continuously unplug the lights. So, all right, so we're gonna get started yep. on doing some decoration and we'll let you see what it looks like right, later. So we're gonna bring that stuff out and kind of hook it up a little bit. You can see the site that we have right here, basically this grass area down through here. Uh, and we just wanna light that up a little bit because uh, you know, we got this guy that's across the street from us over here and he's got lights all through the trees and it looks really cool at night. So uh, we wanna do something with our little area too, so. Mail's on the phone. Right. And I right. don't know what's right. going on. Fine. So I switched to a more Texas appropriate Mesquite. hat. Um, weird, like mimosa leaves on them almost. Mimosa. That, uh -huh. Now I'm all cowboyed up. Were you? Let's get on with this video. Uh, no. So we're going to talk about how we do this, right? Is that what we're doing? I think that's what we're doing. And those lights come in all different, like, they have all kinds of different varieties. You can do different lengths, sizes, colors. They yeah. have LED, they have LED ones also. You might see, yeah, they're called bistro lights, or, or you can get them that have little ma plastic mason jars on them, or... And then, oh, perfect, that's exactly not the way to do it. <laughs> How do they? How do you put them on? You just like you just stick them. Yeah. And then you push, yeah. and the the it has Flattens a button okay, and it cool. kind of sucks it. Not on. that first one. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah. So I also use clothespins. Yeah, I believe that was in a, a video we did about hacks for beginners. Always have clothespins. So we have our little conversational area set up here with our camper doxy honey all right so we've strung up our lights with the shepherd's hook um just kind of down the middle of our little space here to kind of you know enclose it make it a little more intimate this evening um we have set up our fire pit here in the center of our conversation area we have our blackstone grill and um i just put the turkish towel down on top of the our table there for a tablecloth um, along with our plastic plant and uh, a candle. We also have our uh, lantern right there, the LED lantern awesome. on the on the little side table. Yeah, it lights up on the side of the camper with the hooks. With the hooks, and right? And a rope and light too on the bottom, right? Right. And we'll use the rope light also to help deter rodents when we're in more rural area areas. Cool. And so, we also, we hung our, our uh, wreath up yeah. there with a the little suction hook. So it yeah. might not look like much during the day, but you'll be really surprised at how beautiful right. it will be tonight. How it looks at night and how just putting up a few cheap lights can like just make you happy when you see it at night. So we'll check it out tonight. All right guys, so nighttime has arrived and now we can see we're all lit up. That's really pretty. Welcome to nighttime at Home on the Hitch. <laughs> That's right. Nighttime, Home on the Hitch. So you see all the lights that we've got strung up with the shepherd's hook and the rope light under the camper as well as the lights on the camper. And you can get a good look at the lantern there, so the LED lantern. Makes for a really good, really cool atmosphere. All right, thanks for joining us tonight on our decorating your campsite. Absolutely. Hope you enjoyed that and got some good ideas. Right, so it's not expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive or, or take a long time and, and you can throw some lights up and really Really pizzazz it up. The important thing is that you do what you want and that you have fun. Right, absolutely. So.
It's part of making every moment count. Mm -hmm. and, and just be happy and try to be happy in every moment that you, that you can. So, all right, that's going to do it for this video. So, so make sure you subscribe, yeah. hit the like button, leave us a comment. Absolutely. If you have something that you decorate with, uh, put, you know, that we didn't include here, but then put that down in the comments. Right. So, we love new ideas. Absolutely. Uh, until next time, guys, take care of each other, uh, love each other. And make every moment count. All right. We'll see you next time, guys.